I want to ask you, Chrissy, please share your engagement story. I'm like, oh, dying. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, okay. Give us all the gushy details. <laughs> okay. Well, I was seriously sweating this show that was last night uh, was at the Beacon Theater. It was the Minds. Like so, so I hadn't really, I had barely heard of Minds, the platform, but it's like a free speech social media platform. And um, like one of my opening jokes was like, yeah, Minds, uh, like their their slogan is, hey, at least we're not parlor. So I like I was sweating this event for a good month, but like sweating it very hard the last two weeks because is it the freaking Beacon Theater? It, it's it's like I feel like that's next to Madison Square Garden, one of the biggest theaters in New York City, and it's like that's where fucking Seinfeld performs. So when uh, they they asked me to host this event, I was like so flattered. I was like, yes, of course, I'm gonna do it. Now I have to figure out what mine's is. Now I have to join it, and it was all these different speakers, um, different panels talking about you know satire versus disinformation, the future of social media, healing the cultural divide, and uh, and so it's and it was like me hosting it. So it was like I started out with like. Uh, 10 15 minute set of doing a combination of like just shitting on minds but talking about like censorship and social media at the same time like roasting the panelists and moderators that were about to come up not all of them because some of them I just didn't know and I was like I don't know what to make funny about this person um, but what was cool is that there were people from the left like Destiny uh, was there Stephen Bunnell who like got heavily booed <laughs> like I'd never heard it reminded me of like old like Rome or Sparta or something like we were in a coliseum <laughs> and people were like booing I thought they expected them to start like throwing food at him um for one of his takes like I was running around a lot but I if I can remember what were they booing him for I thought he was going to get up there and defend pedophilia again but I think they they <sighs> booed him for saying like most people don't want someone open-minded they really just want to hear from people who agree with them I don't know. And just his way, his kind of delivery. I think he enjoys being hated. If anybody in the chat was there listening and, and like remembers what he was booed for. Anyway, um, so the event was awesome. Oh my god, muffins I just tangled, saw... tangled in the, oh, the Wi Fi cord. She's tangled. She's fucking such a dummy. All right. <laughs> you can pull it on the wall. <laughs> oh yeah. They did do that once. They were like, yank. Oh. All right. So I was really nervous and because there's just so many people there that I look up to like, and that are crushing it. Like Tim pool and James O'Keefe and Zuby. Um, Tulsi Gabbard was there. I met her and they had like a VIP meet and greet before. Then the event started at seven 30 and went till like 11 basically. Um, so it was really cool. Got to meet a lot of people before. And then the event happened with, you know, everyone was like the, the other producers were kind of anxious too. Cause like, I mean, I guess, can I say it? If one of the producers, how much money they spent. Okay. <laughs> Which is funny. So the, the Mines folks, they spent on this event 370 grand to pull wow. it off. Between, I guess, renting out the beacon, but it's not just you're renting the beacon out. You have to rent out like every single crew member that needs to be there that day. And I don't mm -hmm. know if that's a union thing or a beacon theater thing or a combination of both. Plus, Ticketmaster was giving them a real hassle. Like they weren't emailing people their tickets. They, of course, need to take their chunk. And uh, Lila, yeah. Lila, 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 you want to come on here? Uh, and then, of course, even if you wanted to sell your merch after this event, Beacon Theater was going to take a cut of your merch. So I was like, I'm going to wow. do that. Fuck wow. that shit. They have some nerve after shelling out 370K. They're like, give us some of your crumbs, bitch. <laughs> right? We need more. <laughs> Way. Well, yeah, mine's paid plate. that much, um, but that was for flying everyone out, putting you know certain people up in hotels, uh, and then of course like all the expenses related to the event. So I was just like happy it went well. Like I, I feel like I did the best I could. A lot, most of my jokes I would say hit right, Frank. Um, <laughs> Frank helps me write some of the jokes too, so like he gets extra excited when it's a joke that he helped me write and that mm -hmm. hits. Like there was a guy who was famous for convincing like 200 something guys to leave the KKK and denounce it. So he was a moderator for one of the panels. And I was like, your next moderator has uh, like convinced 200 people to leave the KKK. And I was like, which means there are openings. <laughs> 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 See me after. We'll sign you up. <laughs> Just type K in chat if you would like to join. Yeah. Right. It was oh, wow. The okay symbol. <laughs> 
I was like, yay, they're accepting people now. I, think the I didn't even know that there were 200 people in the KKK. I thought it was like maybe like two folks at this point. Yeah, probably. Both yeah, because this guy agents. convinced so many people to leave. My, I think I remember the, the joke that got the first big pop of laughter. I was like, oh, thank you so much to Minds for putting this event together. It's really cool how they could get so many speakers together from all over the political and autism spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> so good. wait, right after that, fun. Frankie was like, this is a good time to propose? Or So after the event was over, after the event was over, and I normally don't bitch out with my high heels like a basic bitch, but I did last night because these were like very tall and I wore them. They're really meant to be worn like just for a couple hours and I wore them from like basically five to 11. So it was like, my feet are fucking done. I was like, Oh, I was like, before we go to the after party, like I need to go back to the hotel and just change my shoes. And so we go back and it was crazy. Like when I left the beginning theater, like the, it was the side door and they had barricades on either side. Like it, it was like a real moment. I was like, Oh my God, there's like people like lurking here, waiting up for not me for other people. But like, I was like, it's really cool that there are people and people are asking me like, where's destiny. And I was like, I don't fucking know. Um, I feel like that's photos. rude. Do you like that? Like when people go up to you asking where someone else is, like you're their keeper. Oh. Like hey. you're not that important. Where's this other person I care about more? No. I don't love it, but I was the host of the thing. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when you're when you're the host of the thing, I kind of feel it is kind of your job to like keep everyone in line through throughout the event and know where everybody is. But of course there were tons of handlers and PAs like fetching people. They're like so many moving parts. Like the answer is like, yeah, it does kind of annoy me, but it's like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be like, I don't fucking know. Like if Leanne was here, she'd be like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm working on my Leanne impression. Um, so I'm like, I don't know. Have a good day. And then, so we walked back to the hotel. I'm just like changing. <laughs> I wasn't even done changing. Like I had jeans on, boots, and a bra, and I turn around and like Frank is like sitting on the bed with the with the ring box open, and I was like, oh, ah! <laughs> oh, my, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's I was so, so sweet. fucking surprised. I was so surprised, so gay, and I was like, we. And then did we anyone went to know? Like, did your did his siblings know or your? I sibling? don't think anybody knew it was gonna happen last night. Like, I think his was it parents... like a surprise for him? Even he's like, "This is the moment." Finally, um, there. <laughs> yeah, I think he was planning to do it because he was just waiting for the event to be over. And I was thinking he didn't want to do it before the event because I would just forget all my shit. I'd be like, "I'm engaged. Fuck this gig. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't need you anymore." So I heard what happened with Gavin when I wasn't here. So was that a contributing factor at all? Oh, my God. No. And I hate how he's going to feel semi-responsible. I guess this was in the works. Like, I knew, like, a ring was being made. I just didn't know, like, when it was going to happen. And it just was funny because, like, Frank had the ring last last Simcast. So he's probably listening to Gavin being like, this motherfucker. Um, oh, he but ruined it. Uh, I don't know. And I surprised. sent Gavin a picture and I was like, oh, I'm joking around. Like, look what you did. It happened last night. And then he said, guess what he wrote back? He said, you're your hand. He said, your hand looks like a salmon tarp. <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. That my hand looks bad. I don't know. And I said, it's actually a sausage tarp. And I said, <laughs> And they said, no, seriously, I'm thrilled. So happy for you. Girlfriends are disposable. Wives are forever. I was like, <laughs> okay. It's like diamonds. I'm getting I think, used to uh, his sense of humor. Yeah. I think he's going to be expecting a wedding invitation. We have. Yeah. Let's let's invite him. I think he might. He might be on the list. That'd be hilarious. Oh, he's okay, on, he the list, on the for list. Sure. He's definitely on, on the list. list. Oh, we actually don't even have a list yet. This is like. <laughs> That's when you tell people who are not on the list. That's what you say. Oh, the, the list, and, uh -uh. and then I feel then, yeah. I feel weird for not being one of these girls who has been like planning a fictional wedding since they were little or twenty or something. I just mm -hmm. have never been that way, and it makes me feel weird. But congrats to you and Frank, by the way. Oh yay! Thanks, J Balls. Thank When's the wedding date? February thirtieth. <sighs> yeah, well, we didn't want to do it on you know your same date. Brittany. Isn't that your anniversary, Brittany? With your yeah, it is. Widowed? 
You're widowed. Yeah, widowed. It'll be one okay. year since he's gone. Oh, he's U- oh, no. Ukrainian, right? If I remember. Yeah. Or was he Russian? Um, he he was in the same graves as Ukraine. What what difference does it make? <laughs> Brittany, they were like fans of yours last night out there. They're like, tell Brittany I say hi. I'm like, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> And then there was another guy, I think, was it the Project Veritas guy that was, no, the Project Veritas guy was the one that said, oh, Ashton just texted me to tell you hi. And I was like, oh, I could also text Ashton. But it was fun. Uh, I guess Project Veritas did like a mini gotcha on one of the other panelists, like right before the panel. So there was like basically a, a fight, like a verbal argument that broke out that that was then brought to the panel so that that panel was like very fiery and i think oh i think james o'keefe is like he released the footage from it today i don't know but he's also a very peacocky man like he's very much a showman like he fucking loves drama mm-hmm. wait so, james o'keefe exposed someone on the panel pretty much yeah they like what does the uh the people that ran the event have to say about that uh they were fine with it they were really? fi- like i think ultimately it came down to because Tulsi Gabbard was on that panel too. I think people would have liked to hear more from her. And since they brought that drama that had just happened five minutes before to the panel, they were like bickering it out. And like mm-hmm. Tulsi was like, like she couldn't really see her way into it. Cause that was there. You know, James was calling this guy, Ben Burgess out about something like, uh, God, what was it even about? Like, is it okay? He, he thinks, uh, I don't fucking, I don't, I'm turning to Leanne. I don't fucking know. I actually don't remember what it was over. Do you remember, Frank? Like, um, out. yeah, it was about Ben Burgess being very much pro union workers, um, even to the extent that um, a teacher was in trouble for calling a student the N word. Oh, and he's yeah. just pretty much trying to get this Ben Burgess guy to admit that it's okay to say the n-word or something it was a little confusing actually and it was, ben yeah, was trying to say that it was okay ben didn't think that this teacher should have been fired for calling a student an n-word right and he was defending the but union what was he doing dude that. that just adds to like all my conspiracies about unions oh yeah i i just this whole past week backs. we've been exposing the uh teamsters union brotherhood in chicago my dad was a teamster Ooh. i wonder if he knows anything of well it's interesting because i work in a union um outside of here and the only way i know you can get fired is if you steal that's really the only oh, way wow. is that why he was calling well, him the n-word i mean i don't know <laughs> but I, i'm sure yeah that that and word so the the teamsters brotherhood union is specifically in charge of all of the jobs of opening the container ships not not only in america but in canada i know they are in the hospitals as well too for certain jobs i just don't know which one i mean like unions are everywhere but like the specific teamsters brotherhood those damn ninjas stealing Mm -hmm. everything but yeah i forget what i was talking about um unions Kelsey. oh yeah Unions, yeah. Tulsi's so nice in person, but is she hot Just in gorgeous. person? I found her hot in person. Okay. She's very, very hot in person. Like way better looking in person than all the pictures. Yeah, yeah. Tulsi yeah. Gabbard, she's in shape. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. She's very pretty. Hmm. She's so pretty. Yeah, I wish she had done better, but I think she was talking about because she was well they talked about censorship in basically all the panels but she was saying like she would go and do these events with everybody else who was running for president and like they just wouldn't feature her like certain magazines that were doing or newspapers Mm -hmm. that were doing recaps like so that she was just talking about how like she just was getting fucked left and right but cool lady sorry i'm gonna let you finish but tulsi gabbard is the hottest politician hotter than she is sorry she (laughs) is hot let's bring up some pictures tulsi hotter yeah, she's very good looking. And she's a sweetheart. And she's from Hawaii. So many of them are World Economic Forum young global leaders. Really? So many. Isn't of she them. one of them too? That's what people are saying in the comments. Uh oh. But like, um, so many of them. I wonder why. Oh my God. Here, is this really her in a bathing suit? Oh, wow. No. Whoa. I think I have that in black. She's the one from the army. 
prior to, right? Yes. Really? Yeah, she had a military huh. background. Oh my God. No that way. That is awesome. Wow. She's hot. I didn't even know she had a nice body too. She's really pretty. Yeah, she is hot. She's hot. Dang. And base. I love yeah, her she... silver streak. It's so iconic. I want to know if it's real mm -hmm. or not. Yeah, it's very much like a superhero. Fragrant triggers. Frank sipped so hard. Now he's a Chad. <laughs> yeah, if you propose, you're a simp, guys. Oh, I don't know yeah. if you knew really. That. Yeah, that yeah. is like the ultimate Roll. simp move you can make. Yep. yep. You're getting on one knee, like <laughs> <laughs> you're for a woman. What? That's exactly what happened when money. I proposed. I was like, simp. Yes. <laughs> you proposed, next big girl? No, no, no. He, he oh. proposed to me. Oh, you said simp? He said you fucking Well, Was that a yes or a the no? The true simp way is you got to have the ring and you've got to have money in the other hand. Oh. <laughs> Ellie Munoz, Chrissy's milkshakes bring all the magas to the yard, but Frank put a ring on it. All the single ladies. Wow, this is horrible. And she's no longer a holla back girl. Grats. I that was like the Ellie... worst super chat you've ever read. This is how you know Ellie Munoz is a boomer just by how this is worded. <laughs> 